Get ready for some serious brain work now on four in the battle of 15 to 1. John Bradley from Omar in County Tyrone. June Cutner from Bournemouth. Jim Kerrins from Glasgow. Angela Bennett from Altrincham in Cheshire. Ivan Page from Ed Walton in Nottinghamshire. Ted Harrison from Sutton in Surrey. Louise Nicholson from Harrow in Middlesex. Michael Thornton from Sheffield. Simon Moss from Brighton. Martin Wilson from Hemel Hempstead in Hertfordshire. Pat Reed from Brighton. Jeff Francis from Swansea. Raymond Glenn from Old Marston in Oxfordshire. Brian Johnston from Aboyne in Aberdeenshire. And David Grigg from Scunthorpe are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner today is Jim Kerrins from Glasgow. Welcome back, young Jim. There's the finals board. Arnold O'Hara setting the pace for our top of the finals board trophy. And today's winner will fill that empty place. At the end of the programme, I'll give you details of our finals board competition. Let's make a start. Two questions each in the first round. One correct answer from you to survive. And we begin with John Bradley from Omar in County Tyrone. John, the towns of Grantham, Boston and Gainsborough, which English county are they all in? Chesterfield. Lincolnshire. June, Tara Newley, whose father is the singer-actor Anthony Newley, presents a show on the radio station Viva. She also has a famous mother. Who is her famous mother? I don't know. Joan Collins. Jim, Wales and the environment. What is the CCW as it refers to Wales? It's the Countryside Council for Wales. And Angela, media, beginning broadcasting in 1992, which was Britain's first national commercial radio station? Classic FM. It was. Ivan, television. Since its inception in 1958, Grandstand, a BBC's long-running Saturday afternoon sports programme, has had only four regular presenters. Two of the four, please. David Coleman and Steve Ryder. Yes, and Frank Boff and Des Lynham. Ted, what is the principal duty performed in a Muslim mosque by the muezzin? He calls people to prayers. He does. Louise, only two of the 23 members of the present cabinet do not have seats in the House of Commons. Either of the two, please. The Lord Chancellor and the... No. Well, gone. either of the two means the Lord Chancellor, Chancellor yes, it's Lord Mackay, and the Lord Privy Seal, Viscount Cranbourne. Michael, please. Medicine. What is the name of the nerve which carries sensations of smell from the nose to the brain? Faculty. Nearly, but not nearly enough, it's the olfactory nerve. Simon, please. Commonwealth Day each year falls on the second Monday of which month? June. March. Martin, please. What was unique about the death of the 19th century Prime Minister Spencer Percival? He was assassinated. Yes, he was the only British Prime Minister to be assassinated. Pat, please. She writes novels under the name of Barbara Vine. She writes mainly crime novels under her own name. What is her own name? Uh, Ruth Rendell. Jeff, please. Shakespeare. What's the name of Hamlet's mother in the play? Ophelia. Gertrude. Raymond. A museum celebrating the lives and works of which literary family is at Haworth Parsonage in Yorkshire? The Bronte Museum. Brian, please. Dance. The Mazurka is a national dance of which European country? Greece. Poland. David. Theatre. Major Barbara, the millionairess and Pygmalion. The playwright, please. George Bernard Shaw. Yes, George Bernard Shaw. And, John, your second question, please. In Greek mythology, Nike was the goddess of victory. Who was her Roman equivalent? I don't know. Victoria. June, what is the capital city of Saudi Arabia? I didn't know. Riyadh. Jim, which mixture of organic coloured compounds is turned red by acids, the blue colour being restored by alkalis? Witness. Angela, please. This is Greek mythology. What is the collective name of the three daughters of Zeus, embodying beauty and social accomplishments? The Muses. The Graces. Ivan, decorations, KCMG. 
Knight Commander of the Order of what? Sorry. St. Michael and St. George. Ted, the collection of value-added tax is dealt with by which department of the Treasury? The Home Office. Customs and Excise. Louise, what form of carbon is the lead in pencils made from? Charcoal. Graphite. Michael, please. Sport, athletics. Which British athlete was unable to defend her world title in Gothenburg in 1995 due to injury, but saw her world record beaten by the American Kim Batten? Sally Gunnell. Simon, please. Where in London are the Whispering Gallery, the Stone Gallery and the Golden Gallery to be found? St Paul's Cathedral. Martin, please. Food and drink. Used as a meat substitute. What is TVP? Uh, it's texturised vegetable protein. Pat, Scotland. Based in Inverness, what is the H-I-E? H-I-E. Um, Highland... Um, no, I've no idea. <laughs> it's the Highlands and Islands Enterprise. Jeff, what were the first names of the motoring pioneers, Mr. Rolls and Mr. Royce? Um, Charles. No. Charles and Henry. Raymond, please. Proverbs. There's no fool like. An old fool. Brian. Economics. Whose law says that bad money drives out good? Uh, Adam Smith. Gresham's law. David, MI5 and MI6. What does the MI stand for? Military intelligence. <laughs> Four down, 11 to go. Laura, please. And they are John Bradley, June Kupner, Jeff Francis and Brian Johnston. And of the remaining 11 contestants, two still have their three lives intact. This first question for you, Jim, a correct answer, and we can start nominating. BBC Television. Who is the foreign affairs editor of BBC Television? John Humphreys. John Simpson. Angela, please. The largest national park in Great Britain, 880 square miles. Which national park? Lake District. A number, please, Angela. Uh, number 15. David, in which field of the arts are John Taverner, Elliot Carter and Peter Maxwell Davis famous names? Music. Yes, they're composers. A number, please. Uh, 13. The environment, Raymond. Nitrogen oxides and which other gas are the main causes of acid rain? Carbon dioxide. Sulphur dioxide. Again, please, David. Number 11. Uh, Pat. Where might one expect to see a funambulist practising his skills? At uh, the circus. Yes, he's a tightrope walker. A number, please? Four. Films, please, Angela. Reputedly costing up to $200 million and starring Kevin Costner. The name, please, of the most expensive film ever made. Heaven's Gate? That was at the time. <laughs> this is now Waterworld. Again, please? Uh, five. And Ivan? Decades, the 20th century, Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space. The QE2 was launched and Concorde made its maiden test flight. In which decade of this century? 60s. A number, please, Ivan. Nine. Simon, what is the common name for the marsupials that make up the family Macropodidae? Kangaroos? Yes, and, and wallabies. 13, please. And Raymond, please. Military affairs. From the French meaning wake up, what word means a bugle call or military formation first thing in the morning? Uh, Revali. A number, please. Um, number eight. Television, please, Michael. How are the characters Phoebe, Joey, Chandler, Ross, Rachel and Monica collectively known in the title of a Channel 4 comedy series? Afraid I don't know. Friends. Again, please, Raymond. Number nine. Simon, what was the nationality by birth of the inventor and scientist Gabriel Fahrenheit? Scottish. German. Again, please. Number 10. Martin. Inventions. Invented by the Dutch motor racing driver Maurice Gatsonides, where would you be likely to see or be seen by a Gatso camera? Und underwater. On the road. It's used to detect and photograph speeding cars. Again, please. Number 11. 
The 16th century history, Pat. Mary of Guise, daughter of the French Duke of Guise. Who was her famous daughter? Um, uh, Mary, Queen of Scots. A number, please. Uh, six. Horse racing, Ted. Which race meeting is commonly given the epithet glorious? Goodwood. A number, please. Uh, number 15. David, famous poems, W.H. Auden. This is the night mail crossing the border. What's the next line? This, this is a train bringing her letters. You're on the right track, but it's, the line is bringing the cheque and the postal order. Okay. Again, please, Ted. Number three. What is meant by the abbreviation MFH referring to field sports? Men's field hockey. Master of Foxhounds. Again, please. Uh, number four. Classical languages, Angela. In Latin, nouns are divided into groups called declensions. What name is given to the groupings into which verbs are divided? I have no idea. Conjugations. Again, please, Ted. Number eight. A government executive agency. What is the COI? Michael? Chamber. No, it's the Central Office of Information. Again, please, Ted. Number nine. Simon, with which wine are the French towns of Apernay and Reims associated? Champagne. A number, please. Seven, please. The USA, please, Louise. Which American state was named for Queen Elizabeth I? <laughs> Virginia, for the Virgin Queen. Again, please, Simon. Number five. The royal family, please, Ivan. The Queen has six grandchildren. Which two do not have the title Royal Highness? No, no, I don't. Peter Phillips and Zara Phillips. Again, please. Number 15. And David? Parliament, the House of Commons. How much does the daily edition of Hansard cost? Five guineas. Oh, it's a lovely old-fashioned phrase, five guineas, David. Uh, five I take pounds. you to my heart. No, it's actually £7.50. Uh, <laughs> a number, please? 13. And Raymond, the USA. LA is the well-known abbreviation for Los Angeles. For which state is LA the official postal abbreviation? Louisiana. A number, please? Number six. Ted, music, Blossom Time, The Student Prince, The Desert Song, The Composer, please. Sigmund Romberg. Again, please. Um, number five. Ivan, Kielder Forest, Rothbury Forest and Pike Rig are features in which county? Northumberland. A number, please, Ivan. Ten. Martin, what is the present cost of a dental checkup on the National Health Service? Ten pounds. Four pounds. Again, please, Ivan. Fifteen. Television, please, David. Which classic comedy of the 1970s, currently being repeated on BBC Two, stars James Bolam and Rodney Bewes? Oh, the likely, la the likely lad. Yes, and whatever happened to the likely lad? Whatever so. happened to them, yeah. Give me a number, please. Yes, of course. Uh, Eleven. The history of architecture, Pat. The name, please, of the English architect, assistant to Christopher Wren in designing St Paul's Cathedral, and joint architect with John Vanbrugh of Blenheim Palace and Castle Howard. Um, uh, Nicholas Hawksmore. Again, please, David. Uh, 13. Raymond, still architecture. What is a postern? P-O-S-T-E-R-N. Uh, can you spell it again, please? P-O-S-T-E-R-N. Um, a pedestal? It's a gateway, sometimes a concealed one. Again, please, David. Uh, 11. Mathematics, Pat. How many degrees are there in a straight angle? 360. That's a round angle. 180. <laughs> Again, please, David. Nine. American literature, Simon. A girl like I, no mother to guide her, gentlemen prefer blondes. Who wrote those books? No, sorry. Anita Luce. Again, please, David. Six. In the phrase, Ted, on spec, what is spec short for? Speculation. A number, please. Uh, number five. Botany, please. Ivan? Blue Boy, Snow White, Fancy Pants and Rococo Pink are varieties of what common and popular houseplant? Geranium. St Paulia, the African Violet. Again, please, Ted. Number 15. Films, David. My Beautiful Laundrette. 
Dangerous liaisons, the grifters, the British director of those pictures, please. I haven't a clue. Stephen Frears. Thank you. Twelve down, three to go, and after the break, Ted Harrison from Sutton in Surrey, Louise Nicholson from Harrow in Middlesex, and Raymond Glenn from Old Marston in Oxfordshire will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. <laughs> collection 20 mellow songs of love the haunting instrumental sounds of the grand piano capture the spirit with piano moods it's out now in a recent test in woman's own only one bathroom cleaner scored 10 out of 10 Flash Bathroom, the woman's own best buy. Idea what was happening. We just thought the babies. And, and we heard a cry. And we just had that feeling in the pit of my stomach. Everybody was terrific though. I and mean, even the insurance guy was there half an hour after we called. They found us somewhere to live. Mm. And they paid the rent. It teaches you a lot about people, doesn't it? It does. Commercial Union. We won't make a drama out of a crisis. What's the verdict then? The hip's coming along nicely. I'm not sure if all that standing about in rivers is going to be such a good idea, though. You sound like my daughter. <laughs> Ever thought about taking up golf? Why not? Why not? Here you are, Dad. <laughs> good morning. I see you give lessons. Good. Excellent. I am rather old. Right. Let's see what sort of swing you've got. Something like this. Only joking. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy this. It's simply the best of rock and roll. That's rock and roll is out now. <laughs> Energy saving light bulbs. What's the point? I put this ordinary bulb in weeks ago and. <laughs> An energy saving light bulb could cut your lighting bill by £10 a year. Three surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Ted Harrison, a training consultant from Sutton in Surrey. He is self-employed and at the moment is involved with the new national vocational qualifications. In his spare time, he compiles and presents quizzes for his local pub, The Angel, and his other main interest is his two grandchildren, Simon and Cara. Louise Nicholson, a tax consultant from Harrow in Middlesex. She comes originally from Lillant in Cornwall, but now not only lives in Middlesex, but also works there in Uxbridge for a large firm of accountants. Her hobbies include playing golf and going to the theatre and cinema. And Raymond Glenn, an internal computer support from Old Marston in Oxfordshire. He works as an in-house support and helpline, and apart from taking part in pub quizzes, he likes to play golf, albeit on his own admission, badly. Thank you. Welcome back. Ted, Louise and Raymond, put your fingers on the buzzers and we'll make a start. Remember, first a buzz gets a chance to answer. First of you with three correct answers, then opens the game up and after that it's question or nominate and a place on the finals board for today's winner. There's a quick glance at it. 
Arnold O'Hara at the top in the running for our top of the finals board trophy. Underneath him, Martin Riley, a previous grand finalist. Then Tim Coleman. Those three I fancy for the grand final. And that place at the bottom waiting for one of you three. Which sports event during 1995 connected the team captains Terry Kingston, Mike Hall, Gavin Hastings and Will Carling? Louise? The Rugby World Cup. Indeed. Who are these four people? He was born on the 14th of November 1948, his sister on the 15th of August 1950, and their younger brothers on the 19th of February 1960 and the 10th of March 1964. Ted? Four family, Prince Charles. Yes, the Queen's four children. What is the connection between the names of the capital cities of Panama, Mexico and Luxembourg? Louise? They're the same as the country. They are, yes, although Luxembourg is just Luxembourg, not Luxembourg City. At what age do those receiving a retirement pension automatically get the age addition? <laughs> At the age of 80, they get an extra 25p a week, which I have to say I think is an absolute disgrace price of a postage stamp increase at 80. Consuming only 7.4 litres of alcohol per head per year, well below the European Union average of 9.9 .9 litres, which European Union country consumes least alcohol? <coughs> With respect to my friends who live there, Ireland. <laughs> Whose dictionary, published in Britain in 1755, ran to four editions in his own lifetime? Louise? Samuel Johnson. Three correct answers. The choice is yours. Question or nominate? Nominate. Ted. Ted. Which religious order is known by the initials S.J.? Jehovah's... No. The Jesuits. Society of Jesus, it stands for. Louise, question or nominate? Nominate Raymond. Wine. What may be described as ruby, tawny or crusted? Port. Question or nominate? Nominate Louise. The Bible. Which two of the cities of the plain in the Old Testament were destroyed by fire and brimstone? Jericho. <coughs> Sodom and Gomorrah. Again, please, Raymond. Uh, Ted, please. Ted. What medically can be described as monozygotic or dizygotic? Uh, eyes, short sightedness. <coughs> Twins. From one ovum or from two ova? Again, please, Raymond. Uh, Louise, please. The police force. What is the ACPO? No, it's the Association of Chief Police Officers. Again, please, Raymond. Ted, please. Computing. For what does the acronym WYSIWYG, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G, WYSIWYG, stand? What you see is what you get. Yes. What's displayed on the screen is the same as what will be printed out. Raymond. Raymond, please. In the July Cabinet reshuffle, Virginia Bottomley and Stephen Dorrell swapped jobs. Which two jobs? Um, health and the Minister of Heritage. Question or nominate? <laughs> Secretary of State, but yes. Uh, yeah. um, Louise, please. Religion. What rank or title is given to Roman Catholic clergymen who serve as councillors to the Pope and rank next to him in the church? Cardinal. Question or nominate? Nominate Raymond. Raymond, what name is given in America to the stage entertainment which is in the same tradition as Music Hall in Britain? Bordeville. Yes, or I would have taken burlesque. Question or nominate? Um, Ted, please. In Greek mythology, Aeolus, A-E-O-L-U-S, Aeolus, is the keeper of what? Hell. <laughs> the winds. Raymond, I'm back with you. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. Louise, Jonathan the director, Arthur the playwright, Glenn the band leader, their common surname? Miller. Question or nominate? Nominate. Astronomy, how many major planets are there in the solar system? Nine. Question or nominate? Nominate. The museum of which of the armed forces is based in Hendon in North London? The RAF. Question or nominate? Nominate. To whom in a song did Noel Coward give the advice, don't put your daughter on the stage? Mrs. Somebody. Ta um, Tankhurst. No, Mrs. Worthington. Uh. Again, please, Louise. Nominate. The source of many great rivers. What is the principal mountain range in Europe? The Urals. The Alps. Again, please. Nominate. Raymond, please. Music. 
What on a written music score does the Latin word tacit, T-A-C-E-T, -E mean? Slowly. It means that the player stop playing and be silent for a time. <laughs> well, you have a place on the finals board. Let's see if that one life can lift you higher up it. Aviation. Which European city has airports whose codes are O-R-Y and C-D-G? France. Which city? Paris. Yes, Orly and Charles de Gaulle. American history. What place does a horse called Comanche have in American history? It was the last horse to survive the Battle of Little Bighorn. Did you guess that? Yes. <laughs> Pyrophobics have a fear of what? Fire. What in the human body are the sartorius, the trapezius, and the deltoid? Muscles. What was Elvis Presley's middle name? Aaron. Chemistry. Which silvery white metal has the chemical symbol BA? Borium. Barium. <laughs> well. There you are, Louise. Your winning score of 111 puts you on the finals board in position number seven. I have to tell you that once or twice in the last eight years, that has been enough for a place in the grand final. Um, you'll just have to sweat it out. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this week, but as promised, here are details of our finals board competition. We want you to predict the top and bottom scores on the finals board as they will be when we get to the grand final. Postcard entries only, please, to 15 to 1, competition, P.O. Box 273, London, SW15 1HE. And entries must be received by last post on Thursday, the 26th of October, which is next Thursday. We'll be back on Monday. See you then.